Hello, today I'm sharing with you my beauty purchases and the items that I've received in PR during the month of February. We're gonna cover skincare, hair care, and a little bit of makeup. If you're new to Beyond 50 Skin, welcome. My name is Cindy. I am a licensed cosmetologist and retired occupational therapist who loves to review skincare, hair care, and a little bit of makeup. If you're not subscribed and you love mature beauty, this is the place to be. Subscribe, like, and comment, and welcome to the Beyond 50 Skin community. I'm gonna start with skincare. I purchased four items from the brand Prequel. This is a new launch by Dr. Sam Ellis. She also has a YouTube channel. She is a dermatologist and she created this brand to make elegant formulas accessible for all. Trying to keep the prices down, but the formulas still fantastic. Active formulas that are great for all skin types. I think this is a great mature skincare brand. She's come out with a vitamin C. She has a sunscreen. She has a beautiful body lotion and this whopping giant cleanser. She calls Glenzer because it's based with glycerin. Absolutely love this. I personally use this as a second cleanse because I prefer to use a first cleanse, either a balm or an oil cleanser to break up that sunscreen and get rid of all that makeup. So for me, this is the perfect second cleanse. It is huge and really affordable. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a nice gentle cleanser, great for all skin types, you can use this head to toe. You can use this on your body, you can use it on your face. So all around fantastic cleanser and a great launch. She also launched a vitamin C. This is an L-ascorbic acid vitamin C for formula at 15%. So it's at the gold standard and it's at that sweet spot for vitamin C. I have now worked my way up to a 15%. Love this. No irritation. Now I'm going to share with you the texture of this formula and compare it to my holy grail vitamin C. Like all vitamin C's, it's slightly runny. The odor, it has kind of that typical vitamin C odor. Some people call it the hot dog smell, but it's not too strong. It also tends to sink into the skin fairly well. But comparing it to my holy grail by Dermatology, their CEF, I find that this sinks into the skin a little bit faster, a little bit more easily, and layers a little bit better with my skincare. All right, let's go back to this because she's included, instead of the vitamin E as her antioxidant, she's included ergothionine, another powerful antioxidant. So I think she's kind of made her mark by including a different antioxidant than the typical one that we see, vitamin E. Very curious to know if you guys have tried this formula, what you think about it. I think if you have slightly normal to dry skin, you're going to appreciate this more. And if you have oily skin, you're probably going to be happier with the vitamin C from Dermatology because it's just a little bit less viscous. She also came out with a sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum mineral sunscreen, SPF 50. I'm going to be doing a full video review on sunscreens coming up really soon. I purchased three other sunscreens and I have three more coming in the mail. So we're gonna be doing a whole sunscreen review. I'll be doing chemical sunscreen review and a mineral sunscreen review. I am determined to find the perfect mineral sunscreen this year. So this will be included in that review. This has 18% zinc oxide and antioxidants and bisabolol. So very excited to try this sunscreen. I also purchased Prequel's Barrier Therapy Skin Protectant Cream. It's supposed to help with dry skin, itchy skin, eczema prone skin, and has 1% colloidal oatmeal. Super excited to try this. I haven't tried this yet because I'm trying and testing a ton of body lotions for you guys coming up for a body care video later this spring and summer. So I haven't jumped into this yet, but I'm super excited to try this. And you got, again, a huge bottle. The next skincare brand is new to me. I received it in PR and I'm considering reviewing it for our mature beauty community. And I'd love your feedback if you'd like a review on these products. I'm going to make this type of video an ongoing series. So if you love exploring mature beauty, don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. They're products by Skin Proud, which is a new brand to me. I haven't heard of this brand and they sent me their velvet cleanser, their chemical sunscreen, and a gommage tonic. It's a 5% lactic acid with glycolic acid tonic. I assume it's like a toner. So if you'd like a review on this brand, let me know. Like I said, I haven't heard a whole lot about it. The little bit that I've heard about it is kind of some pros and cons. So a skincare serum that I recently purchased from Naya, they were having a 50% off sale, is their Copper Amino Isolate Serum. I've been using this for at least 60 days, a couple months now, and I decided to repurchase because I wanted to use it for a full three to six months before I give you my opinion 
opinion on this. In the past, I've sort of mentioned that copper peptides haven't really done much for my skin, but I wanted to use a dedicated copper peptide formula so that I can actually see if the ingredient does anything for mature skin. So the jury is still out on this. They had a 50% off sale, so I decided to buy the larger jar. And if you have used this, I want to hear your feedback. I know they have copper peptides in multiple formulas, but if you're going to try a copper peptide, I highly recommend trying a dedicated one because the jury's out for me. This is a trending skincare ingredient. Once again, that's kind of popping up in 2024. It's in my skincare trends video, which I'll link up above. So let me know your thoughts on copper peptides for mature skin. Like I said, for me personally, the jury is still out. I also received in PR the Clean Circle Dissolvable Eye Masks. I don't know if you've tried these before, but the concept of a dissolvable eye mask is very intriguing to me. You know how I love my Do Forever eye masks that are reusable, and I do love the dermatology ones. Of course, they're disposable, so that is a drawback, but having a dissolvable eye mask it's kind of intriguing, so I'm definitely going to be giving this a try. Now, I looked at the ingredients very briefly, and it seems mostly like a hydrating eye mask. It has Irish moss, gluconamin, pumpkin seed, niacinamide, which will be lightening and brightening, and then turmeric. It does help. Turmeric often helps with dark spots, but I'm not sure how much this will help with under eye dark spots. So I'm excited to give these a try. Again, if you've heard about these or if you love these, let me know down in the comments. Niche Beauty Labs was kind enough to send me their Theramide Ceramide Treatment. Now, this is one of your 2023 favorite serums. Niche Beauty Labs is new to me. This will be the first product that I've tried from this brand. But you guys love this product. It comes with 3% ceramides, 1% ectoin, a new trending ingredient, which is an antioxidant, and Sika at 1%. It sounds super moisturizing and super hydrating, and I'm going to be fitting this into my next rotation for skincare. Super excited to try one of your 2023 faves. Dermatology recently sent me a couple of their new launches, their Barrier Repair Mask, as well as their Body Retinol Cream. I've tried the Barrier Repair Mask, absolutely love it. It's a little bit more emollient than the Peptide Night Cream, which I also love. So if you're looking for something a little bit slightly more occlusive, this has more oils, a few more ceramides, but not as many peptides. So it, they're both wonderful, but love this new launch from Dermatology. Highly recommend this. I've already used quite a bit of it, and I'm looking forward to finishing this up. Great for my dry winter skin. I've also just started using, can't really review yet, their Retinol Body Complex Cream. So retinols for the body are a must for a mature skin. I'm going to be doing a whole video later in the spring, early summer on ranking body retinols for you guys. So look forward to that video. As I mentioned earlier, that time of year is coming up for sunscreen review, so I purchased three mineral sunscreens, one by Good Molecules, one by Bubble, which is called SolarMate, and one by Kinship. This is their Self Reflect. Super excited to try these for you guys. All of these have gotten really decent reviews, so very excited to find my perfect mineral sunscreen for 2024. Exponent sent me their activated serum. This is a 10% vitamin C serum, and the concept is that you mix the serum as you need it. As we know, L-ascorbic acid, vitamin C, is pretty unstable and it can oxidize fairly easy. So the concept is very similar to the drunk elephant, that you mix it when you need it so that it stays fresher for longer. I was not a fan of the drunk elephant formula because it actually never really mixed well. It always had that sort of granular feel to it. And I'm not going to be able to recommend this, nor am I going to be able to try this because there were some packaging issues when it arrived and it already leaked. And the serum, one of the serums is already leaked out into the box. So first, I just don't like the concept of this kind of mix it yourself, do it yourself, because it doesn't feel to me like the serum gets mixed evenly. So that's my experience with the Drunk Elephant. And unfortunately, the packaging in this just didn't make it intact. So I won't be trying this formula. If you've tried this, please let me know. Or if you like the idea or the concept of mixing your own vitamin C fresh, let me know and I'll seek out another brand or perhaps ask them to resend this kit. So let me know what you think about that. I received two skincare devices this month. This is the Pro Wand High Frequency device. High frequency is often used to help with acne. It helps decrease the bacteria on your skin. It's used using argon at a high frequency rate to help diminish bacteria. Now they also say that this can help penetrate your skincare ingredients. I have never actually used a high frequency device except when I was in training. So if you'd like me to review this, let me know. 
The second skincare device is actually a skincare tool. I've been wanting to reintroduce microneedling into my skincare routine now that I've fully repaired my barrier, but I've been on the fence about which device or which tool to use. I have a pen, but that always seems a bit aggressive. And there's a lot of talk about the rollers kind of causing that drag and skin tearing. And that was what I was using, but I'm a little bit nervous to go back to that. Then I looked into getting a stamp and then I have the whole disposable issue with the stamp because they only last for so long, then you have to throw them out and repurchase them. So I was in a bit of a quandary about how I want to introduce microneedling back into my routine. So Cure sent me their micro infusion set. You've probably seen this on YouTube. It's being heavily promoted by several dermatologists. There's some pro views, there's some con reviews, but I was considering starting this because it comes with individual microneedling heads, at 0.5 millimeters, which is a little bit beyond cosmetic microneedling, which is 0.3 millimeters. It also comes with the ampule already ready to go. It is disposable, but I thought it might be a nice reintroduction of microneedling back into my skincare routine. If you've tried the system, let me know. If you'd like a review, let me know. As far as body care, I received this wonderful set by Womanness. I just recently saw this brand in Ulta. Totally curious about this. They come from the perspective of menopausal skincare. So they sent me this wonderful kit with a beautiful letter. They have about five or six products in here that I'm really curious to try. They have an overnight magic moisturizer for nighttime, clean slate, which is their creamy gentle facial cleanser. Brighten up is their two-in-one exfoliating toner. The works is their all over body cream. They also have a neck cream. You know how I love a neck cream and a vitamin C serum. Any skincare brand wouldn't be complete without a vitamin C serum these days, but they have a full skincare line dedicated to women in menopause, which I think is a really unique and interesting way to approach skincare. Whether their ingredient decks are, are any different than the regular skincare brands, we're going to do a deep dive into this brand and I'll report back to you. Also in body care, I received the Sema exfoliating towel. This has definitely replaced the one that I got from Target, which is a bit rougher. I popped this into my shower the first week that I got it and I love it. It's very gentle. I have rough and bumpy skin on my back at all times, so I always use an exfoliating towel to get that area that I can't quite reach. These are gentle. They exfoliate. They also have this antimicrobial feature. I never worry about it getting moldy in the shower, so I absolutely love this exfoliating towel. If you're looking for a good one, this is a great one. In hair care, I received the Epress kit. I've been so excited to try this. You know how I love the Living Proof Bond Repair? This is another concept of bond repair, but it's a spray. You empty the contents of the spray into the bottle and add water. Use it 10 minutes before washing your hair. And it also could be combined with your oil treatment. I always use a pre-treat hair oil overnight before hair wash day. I've been talking for the last six months about how much I love the Miracle, the Coconut Miracle Oil by OGX. I recently purchased, because this is completely empty, the new Argon Oil by OGX. So I'm curious how they compare. But I always saturate my hair in a pre-treat oil before wash day because it just makes my hair so much more manageable. It just, my dry, brittle gray hair is just softer. It curls better and I love using a hair oil overnight. And what I'm excited about is you can use the Oppress system with your overnight treatment. You just put this on, spray this in your hair 10 minutes before shampooing and it helps with bond repair. So super excited that these two can work together. Another one of your 2023 faves was Coco and Eve. I received their new retinol and honey shampoo and conditioner. I'm not quite sure what retinol is gonna do for our hair. I have tried this a couple times and I will have to say the shampoo is more of a cream-based shampoo. It doesn't lather. At first I thought maybe I was just putting too much of my pre-treat oil in and I just had to do some extra washes. It really doesn't matter how much I wash my hair or how many times I wash it. This is just a very creamy shampoo. It's a very different experience. And the conditioner is pretty much the same as most conditioners. I'm gonna use this several more times before I give you my final opinion. And I also wanna do a little bit of research on the benefits of retinol for your hair. If you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that I'm in the midst of a hair growth journey. I picked up another box of the Calisium Professional Hair Growth System. This is a growth factor system that I incorporate into my hair growth journey, which is going to have a huge update coming in a few weeks. So if you're interested in hair growth and hair loss, definitely look out for that video in about three or four weeks.
I purchased four eyeliners this month for a video that I did on the eight beginner mistakes for mature eyes. I love the NYX. This is in black. It goes on creamy. It goes on smoothly. Now, I wouldn't pick black for my small mature eyes, but I was searching for a brightening eyeliner for the lower water line. And I have to tell you, the one by ColourPop was a dud. I'm not all that fond of the Fake Awake by Tarte. It's a little more matte and kind of drags a little bit. My favorite one was by Makeup Forever. This is their Aqua Resist color pencil in the color Sand. I love this for brightening up my eyes. I place it in the lower waterline to give me a more awake and bright look to my small recessed eyes. The Fake Awake Liner came in a trending bundle by Tarte along with their tubing mascara and their lip plumper. So I bought that little bundle. I haven't tried the lip plumper yet. And I'm also getting ready to do a video on tubing mascara and I'll give you my review of the Tarte tubing mascara. I, was, I have always found tubing mascaras to be somewhat troublesome. So I'm going to have that video out probably at the end of March, beginning of April. I repurchased one of my favorite lip glosses by Rare Beauty in the color mauve. I wanted to find this nude pink, but it was in a special edition that came out on Christmas and they're not, it's not out anymore. So I repurchased mauve. You know my love of mauve lip color if you've seen my video on the 10 products that I can't live without. And I'll put that up above. That was such a fun video to make. Let me know down below what the 10 products that you can't live without are. You guys encouraged me to look for a color correcting palette and I love the one by Stila. I know the one by NYX is super popular, but this one I find really creamy. I've been using it for the last month. It color corrects really easily. It has every color that I need to get rid of the redness in my under eye, the dark purple in the center. I cannot highly recommend this enough. I love the creamy base of this for our mature skin. I have tried other color correctors, but this is my favorite by far. OG sent me their contour stick collection and one of their foundation sticks. I have to say of 2024, this is the best makeup find so far. I love these complexion products. I typically don't wear foundation, but I look forward to putting on their complexion stick. My color is Aspen. Absolutely love it. It's super light. It's super creamy. It's gorgeous. It melts into the skin. It's so mature skin friendly. It actually gives that no makeup makeup look. I do have a discount code for you and I've actually found these to look beautiful on mature skin. In their contour collection, you get a highlighter. You also get a blush and a contour stick. All of these are so lovely on the skin. Like I said, they just melt in. Give your skin that better than you look, a very natural look, which is what I'm looking for. I love makeup, but I love a minimalist makeup look. And these products, I can't highly recommend enough. I hope you enjoyed this month's finds. If you have a product that you'd like me to review, leave a comment down below. Thanks very much for watching and wishing you all a fantastic day.